Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Live this week. We're doing it early on Thursday. My kids are off tomorrow, no school, so no chance of doing Facebook Live while they're here. Although I do it some when they're here in the summer, but I try not to. <laughs> I hope you've had a great week. I'm gonna just give you guys a second to make sure I'm in the right spot, make sure you guys have found me. I see some of you jumping on. Good. It looks like I'm in the right place. Very good. All right. So today is more Jar of Love. Um, my favorite retiring stamp set and framelit set from the whole catalog. I love it. So we've got three more projects for you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Happy Thursday. Hope your day's going well. Um, I have a few things I want to tell you. If you joined me Tuesday, I spent a little bit of time talking about the rosy um everything is rosy medley it's a whole new thing coming out from stamping up it let's see if you can see it is all of that in one bundle price it's paper ribbon framelit stamps um shimmer mist no shimmer paint so be looking for that next week on the wednesday wednesday may 1st we can all order it nobody has ordered it yet not even demonstrators so may 1st first thing in the morning if you want it get up and order it because they've told us that it's a limited stock and they do expect it to sell out before the end of may all right so that's coming and i'm going to order it and i'm going to overnight it so that you can see it thursday when i get it i will go live on thursday next week in the morning just to show you that okay um, the All-Star Tutorial Bundle for April. We're almost at the end of April. If you want to earn this one for free, make sure you get your $50 minimum order in by the end of April, and I will email it to you for free. You know what? I know I'm behind. I see, feel like I say that every week. It's on my to-do list. I'm going to email this out this afternoon to everyone who's ordered in the past week. Let me make sure I can see your comments. Oh, thanks, Jessica. Trying to something new. I used to wear my hair like this all the time when I was a teenager with bandanas. And I just, the other day, I, I have this really cool thing. It has wire in it and you just tie it around kind of like a bandana and then it's stiff and it stays in place. And I can't even remember where I got it, but I really like it. <laughs> I wish I had more. I like to keep my head off my, my, um, face. I don't know why I'm sharing all those details with you guys, but thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to share this over to, I don't always do this, but I'm going to do it right now so I don't forget. Okay, let's see what other announcements we have. So last week's Facebook Lives were deleted. One magically came back with zero explanation. The other one they could not tell me where it was, even though I can still see it, nobody else can see it, zero explanation. So we're moving on, we're not going to think about it and we're not going to be frustrated. However, the prize last week was solely on sharing the video and I can't even see who shared, who didn't share. So we're gonna scratch last week and we're gonna carry those prizes over to this week. So if you'd like to earn a prize, you can. You have two chances. You can share this video on Facebook or you can go over to my blog at the bottom, pinkbuckaroo.com and enter your information. Um, I'm also over there asking you guys for suggestions for the next few weeks on Facebook Friday. What would you like to see? Um, it's getting down to that time where I've used up all my favorites and I'm thinking what should I use so I would love to see what you guys want to see that helps me plan um, I do have a winner for Tuesday's video Mary Ann Robbins Robbins I don't think it's Robinson Robbins Mary Ann I don't believe I have your mailing address thank you for sharing Tuesday's video if you will message me your address I'll send you artfully aware thank you very much um, also, let's see, so last week it was all the good things, so I'm just going to carry that over and that's what our prize will be for this week. One chance for sharing, one chance going over to my blog and entering to win. Um, okay, so today I do have a PDF this week. I'm back on track and I've got the PDF. It looks like this. If you have never um, joined me for Facebook Live, Facebook Friday 
on Thursday. I type up a PDF that looks like this with all three projects, has all the products and any measurements that you need. And then on the back side, there are some announcements. Um, my Beach Happy class, the deadline is Tuesday. So if you want that Beach Happy class, you've got to sign up by Tuesday, all right? There are several options. One includes a stamp set, one does not include the stamp set, and one is PDF only. So go over there. You can type that in right there and get the details. Um, or just, again, pinkbuckaroo.com. You'll see it at the end of today's post. Now, the new thing that I um, posted last night that I announced is my in color club i was getting lots of emails and messages about the new in colors aren't they beautiful let's see if i can remember their names okay this is rococo rose okay that's probably my favorite of course obviously um this one is seaside spray love it I, I don't know why I can't retain the names of these this time. Pretty Peacock. And you know on my PDF it looks very navy, but it's much greener than that. Um, I'm also using a new stamp set here. Can't remember the name of it. <laughs> don't worry. You'll get the details when it's time. This is Purple Posy. A light purple goes great with Highland Heather. And then Terracotta Tile. So those are the new in colors, and every year I do an in color club, which is a great way for you to get all the in color products spread over time. So you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars right when the catalog comes out to get all those coordinating items. Um, I take five people, and one person gets one color, you know, let's say one person gets terracotta tile, the second person gets purple posy, the third person gets rococo, and so on. And then the next month, we rotate it. So the next month, you get the second color, and then the third and the fourth and fifth until you have all five. And this year, there's quite a bit of coordinating product. You'll get a pack of cardstock, a your ink pad, your re-inker, the marker, the ribbon, See if I can remember what else. Um, the little faceted gems. Oh, and the de designer series paper stack. Those are the, the main things that um, kind of are the same from last year. This year, there are even uh, stamp and blends for four of the colors. So four of the colors, each month you'll get those. You'll get the two stamp and blends that go with them. That fifth month terracotta tile does not have a stamp and blend. Well, on that month, you're going to get a share of the designer series paper that has all five of those colors in there. And then also the sprinkles that coordinate with that. So tons of stuff you'll get in your color kit. Oh, and I also give you a handmade card. I send you in your color um, that month a handmade card. So if you are interested in that, um, you can go over to my blog, the post right before today's post. You can also type that information in there and you can read through those details and see the pricing. You also get a free surprise accessory every month. I don't tell you what it is, but I send you something extra from the catalog every month in your in color kit so it's really fun i love putting those together i love designing those cards um, and if you're interested you can sign up i have a sign up page you just sign up you don't have to do anything and then june 1st i will get in contact with you and we will start processing all of that so that you'll get your first in color kit in june okay so if you want the details on that make sure you check it out i've gotten lots of inquiries about that so i made sure to sit down yesterday and get that all organized okay my desk is almost clean well, cleaner. Um, reminder, if you would like to put in an order by Monday at midnight, I will send you today's make and takes for free in the mail. Your order should be a minimum $30, and you can use the host code. You'll see it when I flip the camera. Here are last week's. They went to the post office yesterday. I try to get them in the mail the Wednesday following. I cut on Tuesday and ship on Wednesday. So you hopefully get them pretty quick. I mean, as quick as the post office can get them to us, right? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to talk bad about the post office. Let's flip the camera around and we will start stamping. So just color your eyes. Hi, Dina. How are you? Good to see you. All right, flip and give me just a second to get this in here. And I just realized I didn't set up my microphone. So tomorrow my kids are off from school. It's Fiesta Friday here in San Antonio. We have... Well, it used to be a week long. Now it's 
almost two weeks long uh, citywide celebration called Fiesta. And there's, oh, I mean, probably hundreds of that you can go to. Um, and the kids get Friday off from school. There's a big parade downtown. And so that's why they are off tomorrow. We don't typically do Fiesta stuff because it is too darn crowded and too darn hot. <laughs> so we will probably go see the new Avengers movie instead. Okay, so to th today, this week, is all about this uh, jar of love. And the jar of love is my most favorite thing in the new catalog, new catalog, most favorite thing on the retired list. And I'm really sad to see it go. I, this weekend, I'm going to share some past projects with you so you can get lots of ideas if you want to order this or if you already have it. Um, they just really, I mean, there's just so much that goes with it. That's what is what I love about the set. Not only do you have these cute little jars, but you have all these little things to go with it and all these cute little sayings. Um, it does not come as a bundle anymore. It used to in the when it first came out. Well, mine are kind of a mess now, but um, it, there are coordinating framelits that look like this. And I have listed them on the PDF. So Jar of Love is here and then Everyday Jars is there. So you'll have the two item numbers. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Let's see, our first project is actually a case of myself. Have you guys ever made a card that you love so much you go back and you copy yourself? Well, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use this one. This uses the little firefly, and I love the little saying, um, you light up my life. I think that's so sweet. Let me get my host code sign straight. I can't see it, it's such a delay. Am I crooked? down a little bit okay um oh, I feel like that's crooked you guys know I cannot stand when it is crooked and I know you're just sitting there waiting for me to finish <laughs> well if you haven't done Facebook live what happens is that you watch yourself over on your device and there's about a I don't know maybe 10 15 second delay it's very frustrating you can't really see yourself in real time which is super weird okay so jar of love we're, we're gonna make this little firefly jar that reminds me of when i was a little girl and my grandmother lived in memphis and we would catch fireflies in her backyard i have vivid memories of that and i, I think maybe that's why i love this so much we're also going to use the hardwood background stamp uh, this one is retiring too and i use this one a bunch so i'm kind of like oh my gosh what am i going to use in place of when i need some wood planks um, this is a really good one and um, i would highly suggest you put that on your order as well but first you know what we're going to do is we're going to watercolor because it's going to need some time to dry i have all my look i'm super organized i took and gave all my stamps a bath they were pretty in pretty rough shape i tell you the because they're so well loved that's why. All right, let's get everything out that we need and the firefly. Um, we're going to watercolor this. So that means I feel really disorganized right now, but I'm not. Everything is right here. Come on, Erica, get it together. All right, we're going to stamp. And you know what? I'm going to get my chamois. Let me tell you something about this. When you watercolor, oh, UPS is here. Charlie's going to come let him know that he's in charge. Um, when you are watercoloring, you guys, you can't use Memento Black. That's what you use with your Stampin' Blends. But we're going to watercolor, so we've got to use Stazon. Now, I do not like to use Stazon with my photopolymer. I think it kind of gums them up, and it I just don't like what it does. Um, and years ago, when these first came out, they told us not to use these two together. However, now that's our only option really if we want to watercolor. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp it in stays on, but then I'm gonna uh, clean it immediately. And yes, you can use your, your chamois um, on stays on because the chamois already dirty, it's okay. All right, so this is the medium jar. See how it just kind of sticks? I don't know, it's a little bit stickier, but as long as you clean it real well and get it all off, you'll be okay. All right, now we're gonna use Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna put some of that ink on the lid right there. And let's see, my, my uh, aqua painter has been getting a workout the last couple days. I'm gonna give it a little bath because 
I am designing a class that you'll see next week that is all different watercolor background techniques. It's a, my, in May, I always do two classes together. I call them mini classes because they have um, only four projects, sometimes five, and they ship together. So next week, be on the lookout because it's almost done. I just have one more left. But anyway, my aqua painter has gotten a lot of work. So I'm just gonna kind of dab it and let it dry. I dabbed it so that we kind of would have a little bit darker and a little bit lighter in some areas. All right, so let me clean that off. Now, let's bring the Stamparatus over. Let's close that before we have a disaster. I'm gonna use the Stamparatus for my background stamp. I just think it makes background stamps so much easier. And I'm actually gonna stamp this two different times because I need one long plank and then I need some planks that go this way. You could probably plan it out differently and only use one piece of cardstock, but I'm just gonna hurry and do it on two. All right, I've got card crumb cake cardstock coming out of my ears in my scraps drawer. I could have a whole drawer just for crumb cake. All right, so that's soft suede. There's one, and let's do the second one. I don't really need that, but we'll put it down. Well, I didn't put it in the right place. There we go. Okay, now we've got those done. Let's move this out of the way. You guys, I lost my new soft suede, <laughs> my new soft suede ink pad. Look at my old one. It's ancient and it's disgusting. I lost my new one um, in, in, when we had on stage, we had our event. My, I don't know, I didn't make it home with my soft suede, so I had to go and pull out my old one. Yuck, it's a mess, it still works. Okay, we're gonna cut one of these long planks. Let's see, I'm gonna make this even at the top. And I'm using my Stampin' Trimmer that's getting ready to go. It'll be gone. If it's not already gone, I haven't even checked. I don't think they're sold out yet. That's another thing you need to remember to add on to your orders is your trimmer blades because they it is retired. So that means if you have one, you're not gonna be able to get the blades after September. So you need to start stocking up. All right, so I cut one long plank out of that. Now I'm gonna cut a piece that is, let me look at my measurements. I think it's two and, see so yeah, they're right here on the PDF, two by four and a fourth. All right, so two by four and a fourth. I'm not even watching what you guys are saying. The blades go in and out. So yeah, you know, you have to really watch those blades um, and the this part, the scoring uh, replacement. Um, they're, they're selling out fast, but Stampin' Up! is restocking them and through September, okay? So don't get frustrated. You still will be able to get them through September. I don't really know, and you guys maybe correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't really know why you would necessarily need more scoring tool, the scoring part. Do those wear out? I don't use mine for scoring. Maybe they do. Maybe that's an ignorant statement on my part. All right, so now we need, we're gonna stamp the little, the little handle, it's so cute, in Smoky Slate, which I believe I put in another basket. Smoky Slate. Just on Whisper White. And then the jar lid, the little lid. And you could even emboss that in silver. How cute would that be? You could do both of those in silver. Okay, <laughs> look at the ink on my hands. They were totally clean before this video and I have no idea where all of that came from. I do know that that pink may not be ink. Somebody was playing in mom's makeup. Uh-huh, I don't know who, but it was somebody and it was all over the place. And they're, they're older, my kids are older. So I don't know what they were doing. <laughs> I don't know. There was lipstick and 
actually lip stain, you know, that stuff that stays on you forever. There was lip stain all over the bottom of my eyeshadow, which I know I didn't do that, so somebody's in trouble. It's probably my little one. She She's 10 and she's super tomboy, but I'll catch her in there and she plays with it. She's so funny. Okay, so we're gonna cut out the jar. Oh, we didn't do the bow. Okay, well, they're already lined up. We'll do another pass. We're gonna do, this is the medium jar, the lid, and the handle. Oh, I, I meant to tell you too that I stamped the jar on shimmer white, not regular white. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see if we can compare. Shimmer white cardstock is good for water coloring. Regular white cardstock is not. It pills, you know, P-I-L-L, -L, not P-E-A-L. Can you see a difference there? It's sh It's got a little bit of shimmer in it, but for some reason it watercolors beautifully. Much better than regular Whisper White. All right, we've got those pieces, but I need to stamp this. I did not, I did not, um, film these clean recordings guys I just have not had time unfortunately again I think next week I'll be able to um so I'm sorry if you enjoy the clean recordings I just could not get it done this week all right so I stamped the bow in flirty flamingo and we're gonna cut that out this is for all of you who don't like to tie a bow no need just stamp it Oh, Catherine, so you, lo you lose the scoring blade. Okay, well, that makes sense. That's why you would need to order extra ones. Yes, you are right. You know what I have lost several times from my trimmer is the the thing that goes in the gutter, you know, the, the long thing. Because if you take it places and you don't lock it, it will <laughs> fall out. That's happened to me several times. All right, let's bring back over our black and I am using the stays on just because it's here. I am gonna stamp these fireflies a few times around. I really prefer memento black, especially with my photopolymers. But since it's here, we're just gonna do it. One in the jar, another one in the jar, and then clean your stamp real well. Get that ink off of there. Okie dokie, now, Close that ink up one more time. We're gonna, good grief, I don't even have my adhesive, my scissors, nothing. What is wrong with me? I have been, the last few days, packing up our, cutting and packing up the Tea Together class to go. So if you ordered that, it is almost ready. It's not supposed to ship till Monday, but I might possibly get it out on Saturday. All right, so we're gonna put that piece across there, and that looks crooked to me from where I'm standing. Let's see, I can straighten it out like this by making that straight. All right, so we've made like a little a little table or this, what I think of is like a, the edge of a deck, you know, raised up like a, you know, like a, what am I trying? Like a wall, like a handle on a deck. Good grief, words are hard today. Okay, so now let's put this together. We're gonna take I'm not gonna use a fine tip glue pen today, guys. I'm just gonna use the many glue dots with as difficult time as I'm having with words. I can only imagine what would happen if I attempted to use the fine tip glue. <laughs> All right, so you put the handle on first and then you put the lid, right? So cute. And then get a little dimensional, a baby, and put it right there. Hey, Amy, you know, I'm having trouble with notifications too. I don't think it's us. I think it's the man in the sky. All right, now before I put this on, I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm just gonna add some, well, I can't see it the way the, the way that the light is shining, but I'm gonna add Wink of Stella to the little fireflies like that. And then over here, now over here you gotta be careful. So we don't wanna smear that ink on the yellow. So I'm literally just gonna dot it on there. All right. Okay, now I'm gonna take one of our, come on, one of our pearlized doilies. 
and I'm going to put it here like that and then some regular dimensionals like that. Thanks Alessandra. Hi Ruby, thank you. <laughs> Donna, we we shall remain innocent and not name any names. Mm-hmm. 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 Not saying anything. I don't want to get deleted. Okay, one last thing. Let's put the sentiment here. I feel like if I talk about it especially, then I really like delete it. All right, this is You Light Up My Life, and I'm just going to do it right here on the edge of a scrap piece of Whisper White. And then I'm not even going to get my trimmer. I'm just going to use my scissors. And let's see, what did I do? I did one at an angle like that. And then this one, whoops, is straight. Put a little bit of best fuse, and there we go. And there it is, little, little fireflies, cute. I like my watercoloring over here. I think maybe I did two layers. Cause see how it's darker and you kind of dab that light, that ink on there, but still cute. I love those fireflies. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I cased myself. I hope you like it. All right, let me clean up just a tad bit and we will move on to project number two. Now project number two is actually somewhat of a case. There was something I saw online using this set, but it was in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. So I figured it out myself and we're gonna make it. Okay, so fireflies out of the way. Next up we've got a little jelly bean box or M&Ms or whatever. See how skinny it is? Huh, and look at that. And the jelly beans are in the jar. That's what we're gonna make, how cute. Now, I don't have any more jelly beans to put in our second one. Is it gonna be sad when we make one and it doesn't have any candy? You know, I could put a mixture of candy. Let me see what I have. I did have a few jelly beans left, but I'm not sure where they are. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. here we go. All right, see, this is all I have left. I picked all the pink ones out. Maybe we should go with orange. <laughs> okay, now you're definitely gonna need the measurements on this. Right here, okay, you'll find this on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. I'll add the direct link in here when we're done. Um, and the link, for some reason, you guys have a hard time finding it, but it's always under the last photo, and it's real big. So just click on that link and it will take you to the PDF. All right, so you're gonna need a piece of thick whisper white that is seven by two and three fourths. And I'm gonna score, let's do the short side first, half an inch and two and a fourth. Now turn it and score the long side at half an inch, one inch. I hope my measurements are right today because when I, when I do a recording ahead of time, I can find out if I made a mistake. <laughs> three and three fourths, I guess we're gonna find out together. And four and a fourth, okay? Remember, don't worry, it's all in the PDF. Now grab your scissors, mine are buried, of course, and we're going to, here's the side where it was two long skinny rectangles. We're actually gonna cut off that first rectangle Oh, square, hello, I do know my shapes, square. And we're gonna cut out this square. All right, now cut this line here and this line here. Then cut that tab in half. All right, these are the tabs that'll just be tucked in the lid. So cut it in half, that way it'll be easier to get in. Oh my gosh, I have ink everywhere. Now I'm gonna cut these at an angle. Now, all right, see that? Let me lay it down so you can see it. And actually we scored it like this, half and one. Now you're just going to cut these guys like that. All right, now I almost started putting it together and that would have been a big mistake because we don't wanna put it together. 
we're going to take our jar, the large jar, and we're gonna stamp it right here in the middle. And you might want to use your Stamparatus to do that, but I'm gonna wing it. All right, so everybody hold your breath because that jar is just gonna fit right inside that little section. <gasps> Ta-da! I know, I know. It doesn't always work out like that. Now while we're here, let's go ahead and do the lid. We're gonna cut, we're gonna stamp the lid in Smoky Slate also, but we're gonna cut out the handle from silver foil. Okay, and I have that right here. And is there anything else we need to cut? I don't think so. I'm trying to do it all at one time. Okay, now there's, if you watched on Tuesday, we did something very similar to this, except it was a bigger box and it was a shaker. This time it's a candy shaker, I guess we could call it. And there's this framelit that goes right here in the middle to cut out the window. Okay, it's gonna cut that out. Then we'll put the silver foil here for the handle. Like that. And then the lid. Oh, very good. And you could even cut that out of silver foil if you wanted to also. But I like the little ridges, so that's why I stamped it. Okay, now we have a window. And we have a handle. And last but not least, we have a lid. All right, let's see, get this guy out of here. See, uh, you really need the framelits. The, the stamps are super cute, but you really need those framelits to cut all of this out. Okay, now I have a window sheet. We're gonna put a window sheet right here behind this, okay? Window sheets are in the catalog. They are, they come in two, you get two 12 by 12 sheets. They're on the page with silver foil and the sparkle paper and the thick whisper white, or you can just look at the supply list. All right, oh look, now it looks like my jar is off centered. No, is that right? Yeah, wah, wah, oh well. <laughs> I thought I did so good. That's okay. That's why I think on that one, if you use the Stamparatus, you'll be sure to get it right where you want it. All right, there's a silver foil handle and the lid goes right there. Now I am gonna use a different piece of DSP I used here. This one looks like it was the Subtles, but I cut out the, hmm. Yeah, I think I like that lighter one better, but we're gonna use this one. This is the Flirty Flamingo. DSP, and I'm wondering if I need to stamp this in a darker color, but let's see. Thanks. Right there, and look at, can you see what's on my block? Oh, that works good. Yeah, pretend like you don't see all that gold shimmer paint on my block. Just pretend like you didn't see that. These um, little words are designed to look like, you know, the writing that are on the book, that is on the ball jars with that scripty old fashioned writing. That's what the, those little words are designed to look like. And you can stamp it when you stamp just the jar on cardstock, then you can stamp it in the same color right there on your jar and it'll look like the little, the little jars are so cute. All right, now let's put it together. Make sure you have burnished everything. We are going to, the front side we want to go up last. So let's put some adhesive on the outside of these little squares and fold up the back side like that. Now, nope, this way we're gonna put adhesive on the inside of the flaps and we're just gonna fold it over like that. And there's your box. And then this, and you know, you could put your jar on the back side of the box if you wanted this to fold in differently. And I'm gonna cut these at an angle. They just go in so much better if you do that. Oh, I was gonna put jelly beans in here, wasn't I? Let's see. 
I don't want to pick them all out. So we'll just put in, these are all weird. These are the Jelly Bellies. Oh, they're ugly colors. No, I don't want to put those in. I'm going to wait until I have something cute to go in there. Because <laughs> orange and black and green will make the project not cute. All right, whoops. There goes one for Charlie on the ground. All right, let's fold in the lid. And the last thing we're going to do, how cute. Little party favors this summer. That would be really cute. We're going to do a little bow. This time, a real bow. If you don't want to tie a bow, then just stamp it like we did in the previous one. This is the taffeta, one eight inch taffeta ribbon. And correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I do believe this one is retiring to a little glue dot and voila. So cute. Let's look at this one over here with the cute pink M&Ms. How cute would those be like sitting at a table, like a table favor or a party favor, you know? I just think they're so cute. What do you guys think? I love it. Pink, I mean, pink jelly bellies are, of course, going to make anything cute. Of course. All right. One more project to do. And this one features the old blue ball jars. You know, you, well, not old. I think you can still buy the ball jars in the, those, bl that blue glass. And I know when I go to antique fairs, you just see lots of those. You can buy lots of them. So that's what I had in mind when I designed this card. So the two blue colors we're going to use are Coastal Cabana and Pool Party. So we're just going to stamp them with the same color ink. And let's see, I'm going to do the medium one. Now what color did I stamp that? Do I need to clean that? Nope. It's clean. Oh yeah, that was the one I did the stays on. Okay, so we just need one medium jar. Okay, and then we're gonna get the little jar, the baby jar, he's so cute. We're gonna stamp that in pool party on pool party. And then we'll stamp him again. Whoops, nope, wrong one. Let me clean it. Although it wouldn't really matter, they're so close. Coastal Cabana ink on Coastal Cabana cardstock. Then we'll get the large one, and I think I need to clean this one. It has smoky slate on it. And that will go right there. All right, so we have four jars. We also need to stamp the little foliage. I didn't do flowers. I just went simple with some green, some old olive, just little... I don't know, sprigs. And we're gonna do three of them. One, two, three. Okay, now this has quite a bit of big shot work, so let me make some room. Now, did you guys notice this? This is so, so beautiful. And I wanna tell you the right name, because I always call it the wrong thing. Delicate Lace Edgelet. There are three um, dies in this set that all do this beautiful little edge. Well. Each edge is different, but you know what I mean. They each do a beautiful edge to put on your cards. And this one is just, I don't know, this is my favorite of the three, and I have been using it a lot lately. Okay, let's do our jars first. Magnetic platform, don't fail me now. This is when we need you. Let's see, we have got a baby right here. Now, during teacher appreciation, I give gifts in jars, cupcakes in jars, flowers in jars. Um, one day I fill it with Sharpies. Let's see, what do I do the other days? Flowers, Sharpies, a cupcake. Oh, a cupcake in a jar. Did I already say that? Maybe I already said that. Flowers, I can't remember. Oh, I've done bath bombs. Did a jar full of bath bombs. That was fun. My girls love taking those to school. All right, so we've got three. Let's move that out of the way. So anyways, that's why I for sure will be keeping this set because I use it every year during teacher appreciation. I make it a theme. Now let's get the little sprig and cut these out. I've got three of them to do. I have this random little thing that keeps sticking to everything. I don't know what that's from. 
All right, now there's one. Magnetic platform's doing its job. Yay, sometimes it doesn't want to do its job, but today it is doing its job. Well, I spoke too soon. Gotta find where the magnet wants to go, where the magnet wants to put the, the framelit. <sighs> See what happens when you, you get cocky? Mm hmm Things don't work. What do they call that? Um, the law of, oh, I can't, I can't think of it. You know, Murphy's Law. That's what it is, Murphy's Law. All right, one more, one more. And it doesn't really matter there on the end because we're gonna stick it to the back. And then we're gonna do that delicate edge, delicate lace edge. All right, we've got those pieces. We've got one more. Now, this one is a intricate die. And what I prefer to do with my intricate dies, hi, Trisha, won't let you join watch party, Susan. I don't know, I don't know what a watch party is. I keep seeing that pop up. This is an intricate die. Where did I put my paper? Here we go. So what I like to do is put down a dryer sheet. And this is a Dollar Tree brand dryer sheet. They come out to like a penny each. And I use the heck out of them. I'll go to the store and buy five boxes of dryer sheets. And then I don't have to worry because they don't, you can't use them forever and ever. You, have, you could use them for one or two and then get a new one. But see what happens when I pull that off? All of those things say stuck to it. And then look, ta-da. Now we do have a few left in there. This just cuts so beautifully. Um, I never have trouble getting anything out of these. I actually cut <laughs> 70 of these and then again cut 80 of them for my Tea Together class to go. And look how well it cuts, even after cutting that many, 150. All right, so there we have it, beautiful. Okay, one more piece and we're gonna stamp that. This is a little label from the stitched label framelits. They are carrying over, they are not retiring, thank goodness, but isn't it cute? Doesn't that look like something you would put on a jar? Something homemade, like a stitched tag. Oh, so cute, life feels empty without you. Mm -hmm. All right, move these and let's assemble. Oh, no, no, you know what? I'm gonna stamp. And I don't have any paper, so let's use the back of this. I'm gonna stamp this twig, this sprig, whatever it's called. We're gonna stamp it a couple of times here, just the, you know, the bottom parts of it so that it looks like it's in the jar, okay? All right, now we're ready. Whisper White card base. Thick whisper white. Boy, I've got a lot of those little doodads hanging around. And we're gonna just adhere that delicate lace edge right along the bottom. Like that. And I probably got a little crazy with my adhesive. Probably should have been more precise, but hey, that's all right. Now, some dimensionals. We're gonna start with a big guy in the back. It's like a daddy, a mama, and two babies. I've told you guys that before, how my mom, who is a professional artist, she always said that when you're designing something, you should have a daddy, a mama, and babies. So in size, something big, something medium, and then everything else should be small. At least that's how I translated it. I don't know if she's watching, she may correct me. <laughs> And say that's not how I told you but you know what it works all right dimensionals on all of these there we go and then over here I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this and I'm just gonna kind of arrange our sprigs just kind of back and forth back and forth so I'm going a little bit more that way. We don't want them all the same. Although that does look kind of like they're all the same. <laughs> oh, they're a little bit different, but some short, some high. 
Now some dimensionals, I'm gonna sandwich those on. See how I sandwich them on with dimensionals and put that right over here. We don't want those green things going off the edge of the card or it won't fit in our envelope. All right, and last but not least, let's put this. And I'm gonna take that. Mm, dimensional's too close. Let's see, like that. All right, now, I told you guys on Tuesday that I was out of twine, out of, not twine, linen thread. Look, I found just a little bit, just enough for this card. So, we're gonna add a linen thread bow. I've got to order some more. I can't live without my linen thread. It is like a staple, like dimensionals. All right, and we'll put that right there. And we are done. Pretty, so cute. Who could you send this to? Life feels empty without you. A friend who's moved away, a coworker, you know, that person you love to work with when your best, best uh, coworker friend is out for the day or moves away. Oh my gosh, that just makes work awful. I've had that happen. All right, so let's look, you guys. I feel like, wow, I got done really fast today. Only 45 minutes. Let's look, we've got the blue jars. We've got the jelly bean jars and the firefly jars. And then Tuesday's project, the shaker box. All right, now you guys remember, Jar of Love is retiring. Hardwood is retiring, the background stamp. Um, you really need to take some time to look through those things that are retiring. I like to take my catalog and go through it and write an R. Couldn't find my red Sharpie this year. I usually do it with red. Write a big R on the things that are retiring. That'll help you visually kind of decide what you can't live without and what you need to get before it's gone. Okay, here's Jar of Love and the little pocket of sunshine. Okay, so if you order anything between now and Monday at midnight, use the host code and I'll send you these three make and take projects for you to do at home for free. All right? All right, you guys, I'm done. I will be back to normal schedule, I believe, next week, Tuesday at 2 o'clock Central and Friday at 2 o'clock Central. Barring there's nothing kid-wise coming up next week, I think we're good. If not, I'll let you guys know. And I don't know what I'm going to do next week, which which stamp set I should use. Let me know. Go over to pinkbackroo.com and let me know what you'd like to see. You guys have a great weekend. I hope it's warm and sunny and you get to spend some time outside this weekend. Have a great one and I will see you guys next week. Bye, everybody.